So, uh, like I said, um, the the philosophy uh, towards teaching here in Maastricht has always been very problem based, very experiential. Um, so we were actually in most of our courses in our program, we run some sort of experiential component. Um, so it's it's kind of in our in our teaching DNA, if you will, um, and then specifically. Uh, for the strategy course that I teach, um, I was having a bit of difficulty in in being able to do that at scale. Uh, so we had some projects where students uh, did sort of a kind of a strategy consulting assignment as their as their experiential kind of component of the course. Um, but especially during when COVID hit, it became increasingly difficult to find organizations that were able to accommodate the students and help them with it and, and guide them and, and kind of uh, coordinate those pro those types of projects. Um, and our program was getting getting larger by the year. So we were growing about 10 to 15 students each year. We're at, we're at somewhere between 120 and 150 now every, every year. So it's, it was getting increasingly difficult to find projects for that number of students. Um, which is what led me essentially to the sim uh, as, a, as a form of experiential learning that I could scale very well, plus that I could deliver in an online remote setting with my, with my students during the, COVID, during the COVID pandemic. Fantastic. Thank you very much for that. And uh, Nora, so how did you become interested in experiential learning in healthcare management education? So I've always uh, been a, a real believer in experiential learning and high impact activities uh, for taking students from theory to practice. And our master's programs are particularly designed to help give students uh, professional skills and, and move into the uh, healthcare setting and workforce. So uh, we've got uh, a number of master's programs, uh, but they're uh, very connected. They allow students with business backgrounds to pivot into healthcare and take health professionals and give them those management yeah. leadership yeah. skills yeah. so yeah. they yeah. can often, those with yeah. clinical backgrounds can move into management roles. What we found was that a particularly uh, students that come straight off a master, uh, bachelor's degree into a master's program uh, often lack those kind of applied uh, experiences that are so integral for helping them understand uh, the material. So we have, uh, we look at numerous ways. Of course, uh, this is just one example is using simulations, but Simulations is a, a really cost-effective and important way of giving students that, that kind of high-impact experience.